Okay, today we are going to discuss the second part of the effects of heat energy. So for the last part, we have learned that when a small amount of heat is absorbed, matters will expand. And when heat is given out, matter will contract. So for the first three examples, there will be how we are going to prevent the expansion and contraction from damaging our daily life. First example, railway. We know that railways are made of solid metal and we leave a gap in between the two parts of railways. Reason being, when heat is absorbed, sun overhead, the railway will expand. The gap is allow them to expand. If we build a single railway without gaps, when heat absorbed, it tends to expand. So the whole railway may bend up, may bend up, endanger the life of the passengers. So the second application is for building bridges. So if we have the bridge with two fixed ends, when temperature increase or when heat is absorbed, the bridge will expand. But when the two ends are fixed, it tends to crack. So in order to prevent that, we will build bridge with one fixed end only. The other end, we allow the bridge to shift, to slide in and out. When temperature increase or when heat is absorbed, the bridge will expand and will slide to the right side. And when temperature goes down, winter comes, heat is lost, it will contract and slide in. So it prevents the bridge from cracking. The third application is telephone cable, telephone wire. Normally we'll see telephone wire like a coil. But if our phone wire is a thin line without all the coilings, when temperature goes down or when heat is given out, it will contract and bring in tensions at different points. It may snap the wire. So by building it in a coil form, it prevents the snap of a telephone wire. So these three examples are how we are dealing with expansion and contraction by preventing them from damaging our daily life. So the next two examples or applications will be how we use the property of expansion and contraction to work for us. The first one is rivet. Rivet is used for mounting the two iron plate together. Let's start with side view. So we will drill holes on the two plates and then the rivet looks like a huge nail. So when the rivet is still hot, we pull it in, mount the other side using a, ham using a hammer. And when the whole thing, when the rivet cools down, it will contract and then hold the two plates tightly together. So the, the second application is by metallic strips. It's like over here. The left side is made of steel and the right side is made of brass. As we have already discussed in part one, we know that even with the same temperature increase or with the same amount of heat absorbed, different metal will expand in different volume. For example, if steel expand more and brass expand less, then when temperature goes up or when heat is absorbed, the bimetallic strip will bend to the right because this one, the steel, increase more in volume and the brass increase less. Vice versa, when temperature goes down or when heat is given out, the bimetallic strip will bend to the left. Okay, how we use this property to serve us? So that will be bimetallic or bimetal thermoset. 
So we have a bimetal strip over here in the power circuit. So for example, if that's a heater of either kettle or for your bath water, when, it's, when it detects high temperature or when heat is absorbed, it will bend up so the heater will turn off. But when the water temperature goes down or when heat is giving out, the metal strip will bend down flat or even bend downwards so that the circuit turns on again and the heater starts to heat the water. So that's how we use the expansion and contraction to work for us. And that's the end of part two.